I'm Hannah Baloli, and this is the HVAC Minute. Last month marked the second anniversary of the Inflation Reduction Act, which included billions towards building decarbonization in the form of incentives for high efficiency in electric HVAC equipment and renewable energy. Two years in, where do the IRA's decarbonization efforts stand with homeowners? It depends on who you ask. Fans of the legislation say it's working. According to the IRS, more than 2.3 million individual tax returns claimed the Energy Efficient Home Improvement Credit, called 25C for its place in the tax code for 2023, the year the IRA's enhancements to the program kicked in. The 25C credits for 2023 totaled $2.1 billion, and the average credit per return was $882, the IRS said. Much of the rebate money is to go to low- and middle-income households for high-efficiency HVAC purchases, and in 2023, it was claimed for nearly 268,000 heat pumps, close to half a million central ACs, 670,000 people doing home insulation, and 104,000 heat pump water heaters. On the other hand, Critics, while acknowledging there are parts of the IRA they like, worry it presents the risk of a public backlash against heat pumps if they're sized incorrectly or installed poorly. For example, in regions where the need for heating is greater than the need for cooling, a heat pump sized for the heating load may not dehumidify properly during the warmer months and may cycle on and off frequently in AC mode, potentially leading to mold growth and higher electric bills, said Nate Adams, a home performance expert and electrification champion known as the House Whisperer. It's the technology, he added, that's likely to be blamed. A communicating system would be more effective in that scenario, Adam said, but would also add to the cost of a project. 